Okay, this is uh, how to repair small rust spots on a classic money. They're very, very prone to rusting here in classic monies. Uh, I saw another few monies that rust in the exact same place, so this is how I'm going to repair them. First step one, uh, remove the window. Removing the window requires removing these two small screws for the for opening the window, this bracket. And another two screws here and here. Okay, with the four screws removed, be very careful. I have the four screws removed, be very careful this bundle can just fall out, but these clips are still holding it. So we'll go down the outside and we'll just wiggle it out. Okay, the metal clips just went down this rubber seal, just be careful. Very, very careful and lie it somewhere safe on a soft blanket. Of course, you don't scratch it. But now we get a better view of the rust. You can see it's just in here. I know to some viewers they may think, no, no, that's not all that bad. You just touch it up, but I just don't want to let it go too, 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 too far because then it'll be a lot, lot more. So, next thing is next. I say I'll have to try and uh, get this rubber seal up. Okay, that wasn't hard to do at all. I'll just pull the off straight away. So, uh, plan of attack. Uh, I'll, sp I'll spray all, oh, sorry, you probably can't, you probably can't see that, hold on, there you see it better now. Uh, I'll go spray all on here. Uh, what I'll do, I have, we've got this body line on the, the classic money, so what I might do is, I might run a strip of masking tape the whole way along there, and I'll try and blend it and, uh, and, and do here. So that's my uh, plan of attack, and I've, I've, I've to do the same other side, but I'll do one side at a time. So, okay, next thing, just choose how, how far your repair is going to be. Uh, some minutes it could be on, on down here. On down here, or it could be. Mine's just is pretty small. So, yes, the uh, next thing, I'm going to run a strip of masking tape all along here. So, the next thing I've done here is I've just set my boundaries. So, anywhere inside the masking tape is where I'm happy to have some uh, sanding scratches or paint. And anywhere outside... Uh, I know, not definitely not the sand. I like to just, I know for a few uh, cents of masking tape, I really don't mind putting too much on because it really is a, it, it helps you a lot because it means that you, it'll guarantee that you, that you won't um, sand anywhere where you don't want to sand. So next next step now, I'm going to just uh, start to sand this back. Just sand it back, no more than maybe, you see my rust starts kind of around here and it kind of stops here. So I just want to sand just this immediate area. I'm not going to push uh, on the, the outsides of this area here yet Okay, so here we are back have it all sanded down. I think someone's been in here before is here I'm detecting little bits of filler I deal with stuff, but uh, as I say I got as smooth as possible with the uh, sandpaper, but I'm not going to use any filler uh, I don't really care for it for being all that smooth. It is very smooth already But I can make it perfect with filler, but it gets messy very quick with filler uh, But again, I don't really care for it being smooth and I just sand it back as much as I could Better focus there. Uh, sand it back as smooth as we could, just with a bit of sand, some sandpaper. And what I'm going to do to treat it, what I used before was this rust primer, which is very good. But now that I see there's a lot of, that's a, but a, uh, a lot of bare metal there. I've got this stuff, which I'm going to put on first, brush it all on a wee tiny bit, this crust. And I'll, I'll brush this on, uh, let it do its thing, and then I'll, I'll probably go on top of them with this rust primer. This primer too, it comes out orange, which is brilliant for a red car. Uh, this, uh, on the red, this is a tin, it's not, it's a William, it's a, a generic red. This Classic Mini is, uh, it's, what is it, Classic Mini Flame Red. It's a Cooper colour. This is a 1275 Cooper. But I got this, you could mix up a tin of paint for about £15, or I got this for a fiver, which is identical, it's very, very, very close. If not perfect, uh, it's very, it's very, very good. So this is the paint I'm going to be using, and I'll have it too with some clear lacquer. So I get back to you when I, when I applied this. Here it is, just setting in. I just brush a little bit of it on, and I put some tape to make sure that I don't go pa uh, past me. Repair patch. I don't want the effect or any of the the good paint. So I'll get back to you when this is uh, fully cured, uh, if you can call it fully cured. Uh, it'll set. Uh, like a like a blue black, uh, as you can see here, it's like a blue. But once it's fully set, it should be a blue black. And I'll get back to you in about 15 minutes when it's set. Okay, the crust is dried. As you see, I've got the, the money all masked up. But apparently, if you've ever worked with paint before, you'll know if there's a chance of paint going somewhere where you don't want it to go, it will go there. So I'm just minimizing that by by masking 
Nah, so this is paper you use. I got and it's for like you know home decorating shops. It's very very thin. It's for covering furniture, but it's great for doing stuff I guess in the car. So now this is dried on. You see it dry, dries like a purpley blue bluey blacky kind of color. So next I'm just going to scuff just from around here. Just a can around there with some red scotch bite. If you haven't got red scotch bite, it's a 400 grit will do. Yep, so now I've scuffed just for maybe uh, about an inch and a half past where I want to repair, and that's just so the primer is something to stick to. So next I'm going to hit this now with some panel wipe and we'll get on to spraying the primer. Okay, so that's the surface now. Uh, lovely and pristine. This is the, the panel wipe I'm using, pre wipe degreaser. Uh, I have this now four or five years and I'm still not halfway through it. Well worth getting if you're going to be doing a lot of it. I'm not sure if you can get uh, smaller tins of this. You probably can, but this is a five litre tin and again it'll, it'll, it'll last me a lifetime. Okay, so on to the priming. Okay, first coat of uh, primer on. Just uh, just a few little small, small light passes. Just leave it, that'll be nice and tacky for, for the next coat. I'll probably do two or three coats. So that in case it's not smooth, I can just sand down a wee bit more. Okay, first coat dry, working on small, small baby steps. I'll go on now and do the second coat. Okay, so that's the second coat dry. As you notice, what I've done here now is I've pulled back, sorry, you couldn't see there. Uh, I pulled back the masking tape because I found I was getting a, a too hard of an age. I didn't leave myself enough room, so I've just pulled it back now. Uh, so just so I don't get a hard age. There's big gaps in here. So when I'm, when I'm spraying, I, I want to just stop here. And here, and I don't want to go right on, uh, right down to this masking tape. Uh, but if you fold back this, it give you a nice uh, soft edge rather than a big hard masking line. So I'm going to put on the final coat of primer here now, and I'll get back to you when it's dry again. Okay, so we're, here we are back again with the repair. What I've done was I've, I've extended my masking area because I was getting very, very close. Uh, I didn't leave myself enough room. So I extended my masking area. I've got a Cooper pen stripe. I've just put the masking tape just on top of the pen stripe. So uh, I'll make sure that I, I can blend it now into into this line. But uh, yes, what I did was I, I scuffed the whole area with some red scotch bright, and I'm going to clean it. I'm oh, sorry, you couldn't even see it there. Um, I did I scuffed the whole area with the red scotch bright, uh, all all down here. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to put some more panel wipe on it, and then I'll be ready in for the first coat of paint. I'll get back to you then of the first coat of paint on it. Okay, here we have the second coat on. Uh, I kind of forgot myself and got carried away and forgot to follow it. But uh, I currently have the, this is the second coat. It's just the second coat on dry end. It's actually looks, this is actually red and, and, and real life. Uh, but on the camera it looks as if it's like a burnt orange. It looks as if I've just primed the whole area. But no, that, that is pure red. I can guarantee here in person. Uh, the whole car looks red. Uh, on, on the camera. But just this, this, this patch here looks very, very orange. But no, it is red. And... Uh, yeah, it's coming out great. It's coming out great, that's only the second coat. So I'll give it another third, maybe another dust, another dust, another, uh, another coat. And I'll get back to you again then once I'm ready to put on the lacquer. Okay, so here we are back. I've got the final coat of lacquer on. Done about two, two and a half coats, you know. And it seems like it came out very good. Uh, if, uh, if you don't mind me saying so myself. But uh, no, I know I'm really happy with that. And as I say, in here is going to be covered. You're not going to see this one the morning to close anyways. I know you can see the wee imperfections where the rust was. I say you could have got that perfect with filler, but I didn't want to, you know, add more time on it or anything like that or more work. Uh, I'm really, really happy with this. So I'm going to let the, the lacquer dry for another five minutes and I'll pull off the, the tip and I'll get back to you once I have that done and show you what the finished, pro uh, the finished product is like. And if there's any imperfection, I'm sure you can let it dry a few days and uh, polish it out. But as I say, I'll get back to you now once I have it all, uh, once I have it all uh, masking pulled back. Okay, here we are, about 10 months since since I've applied the lacquer of the, the masking tape off. But you can see it came out pretty, pretty good. I'm well, well chuffed for that. Well, well happy with that. So it's just a matter now, letting it wait, uh, letting it uh, wait, I'd say, about a day, day and a half, maybe two days if you want it to be safe. Uh, just to let the whole lacquer and the paint, everything bake, really, you know, let it bake dry. And So before I polish it, you can see, uh, you can just hear I put the, yeah, it's a little bit covered anyways, with a rubber seal. 
But uh, no, I'll be able to polish all that out. And it'll look thin, definitely. A million dollars. I'm well happy with that. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Hopefully the video wasn't too long. But uh, I thought, of, as, a, as again, I'm not a professional. Uh, it's just I'm a hobbyist. I just enjoy doing my own, working my own cars and that. But I hope it helped you. I uh, hope if you've got a classic money, hopefully maybe this 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 could help. This could help. So I'll just skip over here to the other side. As I was saying, if you get own a classic money, you'll, 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 you you might have this problem. You know, here's another side, the, the driver's side. And I'm going to do the exact same process that, I, that I've just done on this video. On this side, but you see how they, they just love rusting here for some reason. Well, they love the rust in general, but they like to just uh, rust here. So, if you've got a classic money, you've probably run into this problem. And hopefully, this video will have, have helped you in a way that you kind of know the process is on it. And it's not too bad of a process, all in all, it took about what three and a half hours, I'd say, from, from start to finish. And I'd say about an hour and a half. That was just waiting, letting do it, letting the paint to dry. Uh, so, again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope it helps somebody.